Good evening and welcome, my very special guest. Thank you for accepting my invitation to this. How shall I put it? Hmm. Poetry tasting. He he him him. Well, kind of. I've blended the culinary and the literary world to create a unique experience. For inspiration, I chose a selection of famous bite-sized poems, small, but bursting with flavor, and I am presenting it as a platter of hors d'oeuvres that in turn represent a full meal in seven courses. Huh? Wow. Is that too much? Nah, I didn't think so. Hee hee ah. Let's sink our teeth into this platter, shall we? We'll open with a salad, freshly gathered from the gardens. Mixed spring greens in a spiral crisp crouton, sprinkled with a field berry vinaigrette. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. A tree whose hungry mouth is pressed against the earth's sweet flowing breast. A tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. A tree that may in summer wear a nest of robins in her hair. Upon whose bosom snow has lain who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, but only God can make a tree. Now the bread, a braided, dark red inner roll, lightly toasted with star anise butter. The night has a thousand eyes in the day, but one. Yet the light of the bright world dies with the light of the dying sun. The mind has a thousand eyes in the heart, just one. Yet the light of a whole life dies. When love is done. For the soup of the day, we have a cup of creamy country mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life from making, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Our main course tonight, a seasoned Angus steak slider, cut to your specific preference and presented on a medallion potato. Master of human destinism I, fame, love, and fortune on my footsteps wait. Cities and fields I walk. I penetrate deserts and seas remote, and passing by hovel, and mart, and palace, soon or late, I knock, and bidden, once at every gate, if sleeping, wake, if feasting, rise, before I turn away. It is the hour of fate, and they who follow me reach every state mortals desire and conquer every foe, save death. But those who doubt or hesitate, condemned to failure, penury, and woe, seek me in vain and uselessly implore. I answer not, and I return. No more. Time for a small but strong cocktail. I have for you a special martini blend that I call a Maltby. Enjoy. Be strong. We are not 
here to play, to dream, to drift. We have hard work to do and loads to lift. Shun not the struggle, face it, tis God's gift. Be strong, say not, the days are evil, who's to blame, and fold the hands, and acquiesce, or shame. Stand up, speak out, and bravely, in God's name. Be strong. It matters not how deep entrenched the wrong, how hard the battle goes, the day, how long. Faint not, fight on. Tomorrow comes the song. Your dessert this evening is a slab of marble sponge cake with a scoop of dark chocolate ice cream. Under the white and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live and gladly die, and I laid me down with a will. This be the verse you grave for me. Here he lies, where he longed to be. Home is the sailor, home from the sea. And the hunter, home from the hill. To cleanse your palate, and freshen your breath, a creme de man, macaroon, with a hmm hmm, shake, spearmint leaf garnish. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power. The attribute to awe and majesty, wherein doth sit the dread and fear of kings. It is an attribute to God Himself, and earthly power doth then show like his gods, when mercy seasons justice. was tasty. I do hope you enjoyed my platter of poetic appetizers. It surely whet my appetite for poetry, but now, I'm kinda hungry for more. Hehe. <laughs> they were just a piece. After all, next time, we'll say to eat the craving and make a real meal of it. Hehe. <laughs> Thank you again for being my special guest this evening, and staying to the very end of the party. Farewell and stay safe.